consults welcome to this video on how to use test gorilla with test gorilla is your ultimate platform for talent assessments and skill based hiring today i'm sharing insights on how to use or to create an account with test gorilla and explore the different features available in the platform you will learn how to access uh, various features uh, for example a free demo on test gorilla uh, to start with, if you look on my screen, uh, that is the Test Gorilla page. Uh, the link is in the, the description below. Uh, basically, I'll begin with some disclaimers. Test Gorilla is exclusively for companies. In that, what do I mean? Uh, what I mean, uh, if you use your personal email, I think most of you have tried it you're unable to create an account to test Gorilla. But if you have an assessment to, to take with a hiring company, uh, using that email, you'll be able to take your assessment. But if you want to have a personal demo account for your practice, it's only possible if you have a work email. On my screen, uh, uh, just below here, you can see account creation is exclusively for companies. Click click here if you are if you're a candidate so meaning in case you're a candidate and you want to take the assessment once you click on that link uh you click here you click here and um something like this will pop up uh on your screen you can see uh, it will not be like this because i'm already logged in as a candidate and that's why you're seeing that candidate support yeah but uh, basically if you put in your email address there with the password it should be given to you through email with your hiring firm you'll be able to get to this interface where you can see a lot uh, of practice tests, uh, taking uh, taking the test, what do you have to look out for? Um, uh, for example, if, we, if I click here, I can see what do I have to expect when I'm going for my test gorilla assessment. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll drive a bit away from this video and talk about some key things. What tools do you need for you to have this assessment done? Uh, beginning with the main tools that you need we have you can either need a desktop a laptop or uh, a mobile phone a camera and a microphone for a mobile phone there is a big disclaimer it is not it is allowed but it's not recommended depending on which assessment you're taking most times you might find that uh, uh, due to the small size of the screen uh, and it's time consuming in reading these various paragraphs, so it is it's really not recommended mostly for the open ended questions, but it's allowed. So you take the risk on your own. Then, uh, what is recommended or highly recommended is a laptop or a desktop to ensure that you complete the assessment without any issues. So please take note of that. Another thing I've talked about is the camera and the microphone. A camera and a microphone, it is also key. It is also key in taking the assessment. You have to test and see that really your camera is working. Most of you have been disappointed at the last minute. You're trying to switch on the camera or to test the camera and it's not working. And the countdown is on. And remember, uh, there is a test goal I use is a proctoring measure. A proctoring measure, by that I mean, it is the act of observing the test takers well, they take the exam. So, meaning, how do they do that remotely? Is by use of the camera and the microphone. For which, uh, snapshots are taken for every 30 seconds throughout the assessment. So, you see how important the camera is. We are going to look at the, uh, the frequent situations about what happens in case I don't have a camera, what happens in case whatsoever, so many scenarios. But for now, I'm just giving an insight what you need to be prepared for. Another important thing is about the browsers. Which browser do you have to take the assessment with? We have also had challenges with this. Uh, when you time for the assessment, you're trying to open the browser, it's not supported by Test Godzilla. So uh, basically, we have around four major browsers. One is the Google Chrome. Uh, and for Google Chrome, uh, Test Godzilla accepts uh, version 80 and above. So you need to take note of the version. Which version do you have? If you don't have the current version, update. Uh, number two is Safari. Safari test, test Gorilla considers version 14 and after that meaning upwards. Uh, Mozilla Firefox Test Gorilla considers version 68. 
upwards and then also test since microsoft retired internet explorer and uh, introduced uh, microsoft edge test gorilla does not support internet explorer anymore it only supports the microsoft edge and that is version 18 and above these are key things to note to avoid disappointments on the last minute of the browsers which are supported uh, so uh, as i've said both the cameras and the microphone are important ensure that they're enabled on your respective browser test them before the assessment check if they're working before you start to avoid any to, to avoid or to ensure that you don't have any disturbances during your assessment uh, another common question which is as now you, are, you said you are going to to be balancing between uh, between uh, how to use this how to create an account and also the FHUs. one question which is asked is about can can i take an assessment without a camera or a microphone that is a very good question but uh, it depends on your hiring company your hiring company may require you to record a video for which you will not be able to do in case your camera is not on and uh, another issue is also that test gorilla requires that uh, uh, since it does a proctoring measure whereby it's an act of observing you the test taker uh, as you while you're taking your exam it does that through the camera whereby every after six, 30 seconds screenshots are taken yeah but that is also through or with your consent you are notified that they're taking the screenshots so uh, those are key things to note uh, when you're going to take your test gorilla assessment to avoid any disappointments uh, I'll go back to the to this page uh, As I said you click here and you log in for my case I have a work email and an account with them or which I just put it in here. That is info at finop Finop.com uh, Finop.com. Create. And once I create, they're saying, user, uh, I already have this email is already registered. And that's what I said. Uh, once I come to this side, uh, this shows my account. This is my account whereby you can see uh, job board guys.